Ah, that's a nice message to get. Hey, welcome in. Uh, we're back. This is my second take on the video, so forgive me if I kind of uh, chop my way through the deck tech as I've already recorded it once and it froze out on me. So bear with. Um, here's what's up. Green-white tokens. I felt like playing something a little... A little saucier than the typically accepted good decks, although I think this deck has got more chops than it appears. So we run a bunch of these little critters, and then, of course, the point of a token deck is to go crazy with Anointed Procession, but what some people forget is that Anointed Procession duplicates clues. So it's kind of a clue deck. We've got Ulvenwald Mysteries, and we have Tireless Tracker, and we have Bygone Bishop, but we don't stop there. Oh no. We go all the way upstairs to the journal to get our tutor on, and this this, this this deck can do some nutty things when given the opportunity. Hopefully, we'll get some games that showcase kind of the comboing off element. And then we have uh, like some good tutor targets like Collective Effort and uh, Voice of Zendikar and Gideon as ways to pump our token army. And I want to play our outburst to kind of reset the board when necessary. We even because we actually do want to make the journal thing happen more than most decks typically would, we even have uh, Inventors Fair to go get it. Also, new microphone. I didn't. I've been told it's not quite the same quality as the old microphone, but hopefully it sounds better than the last recording that we had. And let, you can let me know what you think of it in the comments. All right, let's get some games. I've played two games today with this already. I just got done streaming for my Twitch channel, and one of them was a glorious comeback against Teamer Energy that uh, was an amazing victory, and the other was a complete crash and burn failure against Sphinx's Tutelage, where I got milled out by double tutelage without being able to do much of anything. So let's hope for something, uh, let's hope for a little closer to the former than the latter. And the reason I have to make this video again is because it the last one froze up trying to connect to another game. So let's hope not to repeat that experience, although already it's looking less than promising. I'm also just kind of in a weird... Ah, yay! We're, we're, we're uh, queuing up. All right, I'm also just kind of in a weird headspace. I'm completely fried out on Magic. I played Arena for 24 of the 28 hours that the... Uh, alpha demo was available to selected invitees, of which I was lucky to be one. But that was Sunday night into Monday afternoon, or Sunday afternoon into Monday afternoon, and I played for 24 of the 28 hours. It was insane, and I don't feel like I've really woken up from that. So my mag I'm a little fried out on magic, but I said I was going to get you guys a video. I'm a man of my word. I'm doing what I can, and uh, hopefully we have a good one. I'm already excited about this hand. Uh, I'm not excited about forests, as Reclamation Sage can be a bit of a pain. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Games can go a lot of directions, and here comes Elvish Visionary foiled up. There's somebody uh, loving it. Just that's that's what they want to do in life. Draw that card. Do I attack with his cat? I mean, if he blocks, is, do I? I just make the token, but that is one less clue I can get later with the mysteries. Eh, we go for it. Don't don't be a coward. Let's get sacred up in here. Sure. It also tells me about his deck. If he's like an elf deck trying to go over the top, he probably wouldn't take that block. But if he blocks that way, maybe it's like a value deck or a ramp deck trying to go upstairs and just buy time. Or maybe he just doesn't like cats. Not a cat person. Are you kidding? Um, here we go. Kitty kitty. Pretty kitty. Alright. Let's jam. No. Let's jam you. Something could die at any time. We definitely would just want to get that out as soon as the opportunity presents itself. And bring the pain. I know you guys said to quit when uh, there's a concession, but when the AI just leaves, I can't. Uh, I mean, like, uh, I, I can't spend all day trying to find games. 
Sometimes I have to play it out, I think. I think we have to take it on a case-by-case -case basis. When there's clearly a good reason to, con to concede, but like if I'm just not sure where the game is, it doesn't make sense. It's hard enough to find games. A lot of things I don't like about Steam. People have asked me this since I switched over uh, in September, and now I've had some time to really digest Steam. Number one thing I hate the most, uh, when I can't pause the timer. Seems like sometimes there's nothing I can do to pause this timer, no matter what I try. Oh wow, he conceded with a Gideon. Okay. Hey, that's that's the AI for you right there. Um, <laughs> wow. I don't want to fire off this effort yet, even though we could kill Gideon. Really, Gideon doesn't scare me that much, believe it or not, or don't, you know? Because what is he? if he attacks me with it next turn, I can just block with the clue I'm about to make, which I can sac I can sacrifice my clues for humans. But yeah, that's way up there, is the disconnects and the early concessions on Steam are completely off the hook. You rarely get to play out a game to any point. Maybe not, maybe rarely is a strong word. You usually get to play your games out. It's just a much bigger fail rate than I was used to on the other platforms. And then, um, Steam, you know, the, the timer not pausing, that is just a, that's a rage quit inducing fiasco every time. So that's frustrating, but still, it is nice to get to play against, uh, well, be, until they concede, it's nice to play against competent opponents who build good decks. Wow, that's, um, all right, Rex Sage is here. That's frustrating, but we've still got the wide board. Do we just pump it to the moon? He didn't have a way to kill this tracker. I'm guessing there might be a spell queller here, but no, he can't play a spell queller off this mana. There isn't another white. Um, I'm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, I've got this awesome wide board. It's very tempting to just pump this to the moon. All right, well, I hate losing the mysteries, though, because now it feels like he might have a sweeper. If he has a sweeper, this is all for naught. And then I'll want to pump what comes after it. That's the that's the interesting thing about killing the mysteries. I think I'll just take this draw step, this uh, freebie here. All right. Don't want to trade the tracker for these. It's such an interesting spot. And it's untimed, so I can think about it all day, but I know you guys don't want that. Um, let's put out the priest. We can always make it out of the graveyard. I am going to play as if there's a sweeper here. I'm going to attack Gideon with... Um, And I'm going to hold this back. I don't want any double block shenanigans. And I'm going to hold one of these back too, so I have a scion after a sweeper. And he's just going to take out the the cat. All right. Probably. I mean, it's hard to say I'm playing it right when you just have no idea. This is such an unusual deck. Cloud Blazer. Okay, so it's like blink. Definitely not a sweeper if he's going for that. Um, Reflector Mage, though, has got to be in there, so just transforming into Westvale Abbey is probably wrong. But it might be time to go ham on collective effort. Just max pressure the Blink deck. Don't let it get set up. I think that's smart. All right, let's uh, play this Visionary. Get our bonus card. A land would be fine as we get a clue. That's fine, too. Um... Now I gotta choose, though. Uh, I won't have to if I somehow get a... if one of these uh, blister pods pays off. Like, if he kills one of these pods in, in combat. Alright, so now he can super gang block the tracker, but he takes 10 to do that. I'm fine with that.
Yeah, we'll get you off the battlefield. Blinking the cloud blazer could be bad for me. Alright. Now we'll see if he just slow rolled that sweeper because he had the blazer. I wouldn't put it past him, but at least we're ready to reload. Throw a captain down. See if we can flip it. Six cards, I mean... Okay, here comes the attack. Well, I'm going to guess that we're about to get swept and I'm going to throw in a block. No reason to just give him two damage. And it is... Oh, you are not a sweeper. So, you, you... But then he just dies. So you gotta lock these down. No, he's going up. I mean, this is maybe this is part of getting to play the AI here. And does he play a blocker for this tracker or a removal or nothing? Fog? He's gonna fog me. All right, I'm gonna take your head off to the best of my ability. Head on stick. Interesting. Bant nonsense going down. All right, Hermit. We'd love to see how you would play your deck. Stick around next time. You had a Gideon. How bad could it be? Ah, Chandra in the desert. Love it. I use that one all the time. I don't really care so much about the backgrounds anymore, but I always want my avatar to be Chandra. In fact, we're mirror-matching avatars. Slavi, let's do it. On the draw, I think I can keep it. I've got... I can cycle a cast out. I can draw with Visionary. It seems like we should be able to curve out. Gideon's ready to rock and roll on our team this time. Let's just play this. I'll probably cycle this cast out, unless I see a compelling reason not to. We just want to make sure we don't miss lands on this journey. And it is Smuggler's Copter. That's almost a reason not to, but this deck usually just has to try to ignore Smuggler's Copter, which is never, <laughs> never quite where you want to be, but you do what you gotta do. Uh, we don't have an Anointer Priest, so it's gonna be hard. Not yet, anyhow. Let's get these visionaries cashed in and see if that changes things. We got the procession, after all. Now we got double white for Gideon. Can divert a copter for a minute. <laughs> and let's see how our opponent wants to play. Are, are we Mardu vehicles? Are we just white weenie? Here comes a selfless. Okay. Those are also frustrating as planar outbursts is one of the big uh, solutions. Uh, I will tell you, this deck, one of the reasons it can't even be considered like a top tier or even close is vehicles. It just, you can warp your deck to compete more with vehicles, but in my opinion, you just kind of neuter the deck that way. You take out the things that made it great. So I, I I pretty much refuse. I just don't I just don't do that. Wow, he discarded fragmentize. Oh. Let's see if let's see if we can get him for it. <laughs> but looks like we're mono white human dorks, I guess. I don't know. This is so weird. All right. Well, we got to have another white mana in play next turn for Gideon. Even uh, even against like even if Gideon's just going to die, we probably want to play it. Or the procession, we'll see. But still no priest. Uh, I don't just want to attack. I want to at least make it hard for him to attack. So if he like plays a Thalia's lieutenant, we still can like force him to use a spirit or run this into nothing. But yeah, we in trouble. We got problems. <laughs> I don't know if we can solve them. Yeah, there's the lieutenant. Looking good. Wish I was on that side of the table. But then I'd be playing that hideous deck. 
This is like the most boring deck in the world. I I mean I guess it depends. It's a it's a it's a taste thing, right? But for me, no, I I can't play. I just can't jam with like white just creatures and vehicles all day. I can't do it. And I like winning. Like I really do. Okay, he wants some. So what do I have to do? I got to slam anointed procession and take like 10 I'm getting rid of you. You could argue that I just needed to save those up for collective effort, but I he's not gonna stop attacking. He's showing that he's he's just like happy to throw this stuff away. There's no way to live otherwise. There's a priest, okay. So I need a way to make tokens, which I don't have yet. I guess Gideon does. How do I take myself to a place where I can play Gideon? An anointed priest in the same turn. I'm a turn short. It's not going to get there. Like I said, he's going to play something next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. Probably just dead if I play this procession. But I don't think I have another choice. I, mean, I guess if I... Hmm. If I have Mysteries, Cracking Clues makes tokens... I can also draw the outburst, but he's got the selfless spirit, so that doesn't matter. I can draw a sacred cat. Um, I need to draw a couple sacred cats. Don't know how I'm going to pull that off. Play tracker, more blockers. I guess get, if I just sl yeah I mean I throw down Gideon right and hope to draw what I don't know maybe he'll ignore it I mean he'll he'll either just kill Gideon and buy me a little bit of time or he won't so all right <laughs> Ugh. But yeah, there's not much you can do if your opponent just plays turn two copter or heart of Kirin with this deck. Uh, I guess if you have the cast out, but I felt like we needed to curve. So maybe cycling it was the mistake. I don't think that really helps me here. We'd still be, if I were just casting this out, I'd still be in so much trouble. Yeah, I don't think there's any world where we like just somehow get around this draw. I mean, with the Selfless Spirit, even the Planar Outburst is useless, like I said. <laughs> now at least we can play our guys. We're going to go down to 10, so we might not be able to straight kill me next turn. And then what? Annoying procession into what? I need something that produces a lot of tokens. Actually, Sacred Cat wouldn't be a bad way to be here at all. Uh, okay, uh, that is just another land. Oh well. We'll play you. And you. And now I'll get you out. Still can't stop the air raid. And we know his hand's probably bonkers. When you get to loot like that, it's a beautiful feeling. Gideon as a creature makes sense. Copter going upstairs, no doubt. Okay, I think I want to try to force him to activate the selfless spirit. So if I put up like really annoying blocks on his creatures, I think he's going to have to go for that. So, let's see if he triggers his selfless spirit. 
Because my only hope is, like, Windmill slam an outburst. He still has Gideon, so I still have to find my way out after that, but... Hmm. Let's see what he does. It's a one of in the deck, that outburst, if he pitches the Spirit. Long road home. Okay. Weird. Uh, nothing I like more than odd odds and ends, but hey, do what you gotta do. You can't have four Deccan Stones. Yeah, you're not gonna do it, are you? You make a token, so I'm up to six, so he doesn't just kill me in the air. I can't play that and Procession, though, which is kind of where I needed to be. I guess I can sack this, and I'm still trying to draw a frickin' Sacred Cat? Let's use the colorless mana. Yeah. Go to six, block, block, dead. Alright, no way out. No way out. But we'll see. Maybe I'll make a mistake. Not the right draw. That's okay. Don't think there was much to be done. Not the matchup that we can really compete with. This deck wants mid-range and sometimes control. Depends. It's pretty frustrating to play uh, against control when I'm running this deck. But it really loves mid-range decks. Straight aggro? Ugh. Rough. Very rough. Vehicles in general, game over, man. It's game over. Alright, not quite dead. Unless he has another long road home, which you should play if you have it. Nope. Still got the voice. <laughs> Not eight mana either. Oh my goodness. Why the lands, man? Why? Alright. Let's make some... Uh, let's gain some life. <laughs> God. If I just had time to resolve the... Uh, to resolve the Anointed Procession. But I think I was right not to. I just don't think I had a real shot there. And this has like no targets. We're at three. I'll just concede the game here. He's got it, and there's nothing I can do about it. He's shown himself to be competent enough that waiting for him to make a mistake is pointless. And uh, if I know you Steam players, because this happened off camera, I know I'm going to get bad mannered. <laughs> I know he's going to play out his whole hand and like loot and carefully consider what card to draw. So there's no reason to watch that either. That just depresses me. Probably depresses you too. Or maybe you revel in it. Maybe you're one of my viewers who just likes to see me lose. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, if this freezes up again, this would be the second time I lose a video that I'm trying to record today. Please don't. I don't want to record anymore. I'm my brain is so fried. I've been I've already I my 24 hours ish of magic this week is more than I usually do in an entire week. It's kind of amazing. And I'm kind of, an, I'm kind of a, a sucker to be here trying to record this for you right now as it is. All right, I'm gonna give this one minute, and then I'm calling it.
Okay, uh, that's that's uh, another garbage video. I hope you guys enjoy it, <laughs> and I'll see you later. <laughs>